Um, I was born Ushago. Okay. You know, I was not born with any silver spoon. Uh, I was born at around lunchtime. My mom tells me, well, kwana suma tarifa abari, ni kazaliwa. And uh, I grew up in the countryside and then moved to Nairobi mm -hmm. as a child uh, to go to school. I went to school a bit in Masi, then went to, the, to Nairobi. Uh, my parents were of low income. Mm -hmm. I don't say they are poor, mm -hmm. but they were struggling because they, were, they earned very little money. They're in the big city working. We, I went to uh, Guadalupe uh, Nursery School, Catholic, it was free, and then to Karanja Estate. And that time we lived in Kibira, in a place, Kibra, mm -hmm. uh, a mm -hmm. place called Makina, okay. uh, on Nyumba Zamatope, using a pit latrine, fighting with rats when you go to the kitchen, when you go to the toilet. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very simple. I remember even when Jomo Kenyatta died, you were living there. Oh. And I remember people panicked yeah. that day. Because they thought now that Kenyatta has died, there's going to be Msukosuku in the uh. country. You know, and I remember very well because he also died on my birthday. Oh. Yeah, that is why I know I'll be president of this country, God's willing, one day. You know? Yeah. Uh, and that day, there was a lot of boys. So we lived in Kibira. Mm -hmm. I went to Toy Primary School. And then we moved to Kawangware area, Ruta Satellite, to a wooden shack. Uh, with no cement, uh, two rooms, and I lived there until I was 21 years old. Wow. So that is uh, how I grew up. No, no silver spoon. Yeah. Uh, but grew up in a very happy Christian family. Mm. And uh, my parents brought me up well. I have a sister, uh, you know, my brothers, my cousins. So we, we had a very, very good life mm. uh, growing up. Yeah. In a sense that um, we, we felt, I felt loved. And we had very good experiences right. as children, regardless of what we had. I never yeah. felt poor. Mm -mm. I just felt that I was in transition yeah. uh, in life. Hmm. Yeah. Did you have ambitions then? Like, what did you want to become as you were growing up? You know, it, it's funny. You know, as a child, there are things that you want to do because of, uh, of your fun. You know, I went to the Great High School. You know, the Great High School, <laughs> when I was there in Form 2, just before my school fees, uh, Ikaisha, and I couldn't continue with school. Okay. So I dropped out of school. So in kinds of funny I actually used to carry push wheelbarrows with water uh, to take to people so they could give me 10 shillings, 20 shillings, so I could take that money to my mom to buy school a week so we don't sleep hungry. So I know what it means. But then because I was very active in church, I'm Zewa Kanisa, Mr. Hezron Idaka, who passed away a few years ago. Very, very good man, very, very close to the family. He took me as if I was one of his kids, and he paid school fees for me. He was young in his 30s. Wow. But he said, this kid is chap chap. Yeah. This kid is going somewhere. We can't let him. And so he would send his driver, take my school fees, Dagoretti, the same day he's taking school fees to his children's school. You know, with Aka and others. So I'm forever grateful. Yeah. He passed away a few years ago. Mm. Uh, it was quite, quite sad. We, we were sick. We tried to treat him and everything. But his family, very good family, mm. Christian family. So I tell people that when you look at me, I'm a walking uh, miracle. miracle. So when I was young, to answer your question, I, I wanted to be... Uh, you know, you go through, you want to be a doctor, you want to be a lawyer because that's what they're telling you to do, blah, blah, blah. But I wanted to be a journalist for, for a funny reason. Mm -hmm. Because I loved motor, motor rallying, you know. <laughs> safari rally? I love safari rally. Okay. Anything to do with motor rally, up to today. I love everything to do with cars, you know. But I used to listen to the radio. Uh -huh. In those days of safari rally, uh -huh. they used to have these announcements. Safari rally used to be a real safari rally. They would go to Chulu Hills, they would go to Savo, they would go wherever you'd hear at Patrick Njiro, Amegonga, Gamia, Sijui, Gamia, Sijui, Twiga Usiku, you know? Yeah. It used to be grueling day and night, a real safari rally, mm -hmm. very, very tough. And so you'd wake up at three to listen, and you'd hear them, Tangazaji, Ksema, Basi, Waskizaji, Tuko Hapa, Katika Kituo, Chachulu Hills, Sasan Saatise Usiku, Nwagodia Gari La Kwanza. Katika Kituo Kile Kilikuwa Kule Emali, Nakuta kwamba dereva fulani, you know, uh, Hankunen, alikuwa naongoza, 
Ha, tumesikia kwamba kulikuwa na ajali pale gari siji ya njiri umiaribika. Ha, tunangujia gari, tumesimama hapa, wanaichi weko hapa, mchiloka kwa wingi, ni usiku wa maneno wa nasubiri kabisa. Na tunawana gari nakuja, limewasha mataa kabisa wa sivilizaji. Gari ndio hili nakaribia, ni gari, gari nambari, ni gari, lana, ni gari nambari, inakuja mekaribia, gari, oh, ni matatu, ni matatu napita, gari baru ujafika. So, 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 as a result of that, I thought, oh, I want to be a broadcaster. I want to be a broadcaster. Okay. I want to be a journalist. Mm -hmm. It's funny because of that. And eventually, when I finished Form 4, went to Form 5 and Form 6, uh, when, uh, and then there's another miracle coming. Okay. Uh, because I was in Form 5 when missionaries came from overseas. Mm -hmm. uh, they came to Ruta Baptist Church. That is where... You used to fellowship. That's where I used to fellowship. Okay. And uh, I used to teach Sunday school with the likes of the late... Uh, uh, Malimu Kiroi and others who were there and uh, Pastor Chacha and, uh, you know, and all the other, Pastor Kimole and all the others that were, you know. And when they came, they came from the United States. They wanted somebody to take them around and uh, when they preach in English, you we translate. can we translate. Mm -hmm. yeah, they are doing evangelism. So I took them around. You know, they say, uh, we all come down from Dallas, Texas, <laughs> or... Uh, Sema wametoka kule marekani na wamekuja na nusu mkate, you know, and all those things. They say, yeah, you know, we're very happy to be here. Wakona furaha sana. I want to tell you that uh, Jesus came with miracles. Yes, walikuja na miraa na ko. Hallelujah. Pia na waluya. So, you know, and... Uh, <laughs> Is this a true story? And, uh, and uh, anyway, so I was, I was quite active. And they looked at me, because I've always looked smaller and younger than my age. They mm. said, this kid, mm. you're so small, you're so active, you love Christ, you love God, you know? Uh, and when they went back to the U.S., they wrote me a letter. They said, can you come to the U.S. and study? What do you want to do? Oh, wow. I was in form five. I said, I want to be a journalist. Mm. So they got me a school, a Christian school with a scholarship to go to the U.S. My God. That's what I'm saying. I'm a walking miracle. How old are you? Ni ya mungu. Yeah. You know, I was uh, eight, I just finished from six. I was about seven, eight, 18, 19, 19 years old. Yes. 